Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. What is the best test for prediabetes, or what we call insulin resistance? Let's get right into it. The best test is HOMA-IR, which stands for Homeostatic Model Assessment of Insulin Resistance, IR. So what are some of the signs and symptoms of prediabetes? Fatigue after meals. So you're that individual who will eat uh, lunch and then nod off at the computer, falling asleep, or right after dinner, you sit on the couch and you're nodding off and you'll sleep for 10, 15 minutes. So fatigue after meals. Crave sweets throughout the day. Eating sweets does not curb the cravings. So even though you're eating, you feel like you want more, like chips or cookies or whatever it is. Must have sweets after meals. So after a meal, there is an insulin spike, right? And then you will c continue to crave sugar after a meal. Waist is greater or equal to the size of your hips. So basically a round belly. You'll have increased urination, you'll have increased thirst, as well as appetite. So these are the early signs and symptoms of prediabetes. Now, what does prediabetes lead to? One, it leads to diabetes. Second, cardiovascular disease, right, such as hypertension or stroke. It can also damage your kidneys over time you can have high cholesterol, even high triglycerides when you have insulin resistance. And you're going to have or experience fatigue. So the fatigue is usually after the meal. You eat and then all of a sudden you're nodding off and you feel uh, a little lethargic and it takes maybe an hour or two for that blood sugar to go down. So, HOMA IR is basically taking your fasting glucose, so your first morning glucose, and multiplying by your fasting insulin. By the way, most physicians or most primary care physicians are not running fasting insulin. They're just running fasting glucose, or if you're lucky, you, they might run a hemoglobin A1C, which can look at your three month average of blood sugar. But most are not running fasting insulin. So the HOMA, HOMA IR is basically fasting glucose multiplied by fasting insulin divided by 405 or 22.5 depending on the unit of measurement and where you live in the world, okay? So what you can do is you take this information, you go online and Google HOMA IR calculator and can you plug in your values based on the measurements utilized and it'll give you a number and that number would be if it's less than one if the HOMA IR is less than one you're considered insulin sensitive and it's optimal so you want numbers below one for the HOMA IR if your number is greater than 1.9 it indicates early insulin resistance and then if it's greater than 2.9 it indicates significant insulin resistance. Why is HOMA IR important? Because sometimes a fasting glucose doesn't pick up insulin resistance. It might be below 100 or 101 and your doctor goes, it doesn't really matter, it's just a spot check for glucose. Or your insulin, your fasting insulin may be either too high but not above the range of uh, the lab reference range. So if you multiply basically fasting glucose and fasting insulin and divide it by these numbers, you can get a better indication or a early indication of insulin resistance. This is important because you can reverse insulin resistance or prediabetes, right? You can do different types of diets, right? Low carb, keto, carnivore, you can exercise. You can just basically change your dietary and lifestyle methods to reduce fasting insulin as well as fasting glucose by changing 
your lifestyle and, and um, um, uh, dietary intake. So it's very important to do early on uh, because it can lead to many uh, uh, risks in terms of cardiovascular disease, early onset Alzheimer's, uh, kidney function, fatigue. So it's important to do. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung. We're clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.